Here we go. We're going full Shabibo. Shabi look at that face. Look at Shabibo. Does Shabibo look like he's about to give you he's about to give you his hot take on the Tucker Trump interview? Because he is. That's Shabibo is about to go in on Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson. This world is getting crazier and crazier. We're like WWE right now. Like all the characters that are coming out. Big eyebrows, Ben Shabibo versus Tucker. I don't really like to talk about conspiracies, but do you think they're going to kill you, Carlson? <laughs> Let, let's jump right in because this one's this is going to be a hot take. You know, the people who are not Trump, Trump was actually just counter-programming it with Tucker. Okay, he, he, first of all, <laughs> Ben, Ben, bro, you got to like, you got to start off slower. Donald Trump assessed this debate in his own way. As you would predict, he's a big fan of Ramaswamy, which demonstrates once again that he is not running against Ramaswamy, nor is Vivek running against him. He uh, at one point tweeted out, this answer gave Vivek a big win in the debate because of a thing called truth. Thank you, Vivek. And what is that with Ben Shapiro's beard? It's like constantly like half-ass growing. Like that's like, is there even a, a, a trimming setting that gets your beard down to that, that low? That would be with regard to Vivek explaining that he was the best president of the 21st century. Of course, again, the, Trump, I think, had a pretty good time probably watching the debate. You know, he, he was attacking Chris Christie. He was uh, attacking Nikki Haley a little bit. He went after, for sure, DeSantis. But overall, nothing really happened in the debate that, that I think shook Trump's lead. Meanwhile, dude, this is Shabibo's favorite time of the year. This is like Christmas to Ben Shabibo, right? Wait. Is he allowed to? He's not allowed to celebrate Christmas, right? Um, <laughs> like, the primary debates, this is where Shabibo just nerds out so hard, dude. He is in his element right now. Trump's surrogates were, were complaining that they were blocked from the spin room, which they should be blocked from the spin room. If your candidate doesn't show up for the debate, you don't get to go to the spin room and then jabber about the other candidates. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but um, here was... Dude, they should have had Shabibo run security. They should have had him at the door for when Donald Trump Jr. showed up and he's like, I want to get in there. And Shabibo just explains it to him like that. Your candidate didn't show up. OK, so you don't get to go inside. All right. That's how it works. All right. So just turn around and go back. OK. <laughs> was Don Jr. complaining about it last night. Right now, trying to ban people from actually having discourse about politics. Uh, <laughs> how un probably, probably shouldn't surprise any of us. Uh, but that's what it is. And I've been told by others that I would be able to go in. So they said we w were able to go in. Then they said they were in now that we're here. Okay, does Donald Trump Jr. sound like he's about to cry? Is he, uh, is he about to cry? And the candidate that said you can't go in the spin room. They're telling me right now, Fox, Fox won't let me into the spin but room. that's what the American people Fox should know. News, this sir? is the kind of They're telling they him, are. he works for security here, but they're telling him that I'm not allowed to go in there. Because the candidates that well, they've been doing well I don't understand. Trump, for the last, what, two years? Didn't perform as they had hoped. <laughs> Look at so they can't have someone who can maybe be a representative of my father. Just like a few weeks ago when I was canceled after the first indictment, I was scheduled to go on. And about <laughs> okay, five no, they, they, I'm sorry. This, this is silliness. This is silly. <laughs> Shabibo, leave the reactions to the professionals, okay? <laughs> if your candidate doesn't show up to the debate, you don't get to <laughs> put at your person in the spin room. I mean, that, that seems like fairly fair on every level, especially yeah. because Trump was getting plenty of attention of his own. In an interview with Tucker Carlson on Twitter, X, uh, apparently <laughs> it has some 200 million views. Even Shabibo can't stop saying Twitter, dude. <laughs> now, worth exploring, explaining here that every time you scrolled past the video on Twitter and spent longer than two seconds on it, that counts as a view. So is that equivalent <laughs> to actually watching a, a national televised debate? Oh. Those views are, are not in any way equivalent. But dude. Why am I not broadcasting on Twitter? <laughs> I'd have so many more views. Uh, yeah, if he took some of that hair from his eyebrows, Pearly, and he just pulled it down here, <laughs> he'd have a much thicker beard. Oh, God. Shabibo, does, he brings a little bit of insanity. Exactly. But those are a big number, none, nonetheless. And Trump, you know, had it easy. Tucker asked him zero hard questions. Trump did not press him on pretty much anything. It wasn't a serious interview. I mean, Tucker, I've seen Tucker do serious interviews where he asked hard questions of people. This was... Has that ever happened? Has Tucker Carlson ever had, like, a tough interview with anybody? 
clearly not that interview. It doesn't mean that Trump wasn't funny. So for all those who think that Vivek is another Trump, I don't think anybody's another Trump. Trump is a deeply funny human being. I mean, the guy has... Oh, my God. Of course Trump is like Shabibo's type of humor, right? Like, Shabibo probably sits around, like, at any comedy show and does not laugh. But Donald Trump, like, gets him. <laughs> it's like a real sense of humor. The, the, the uh. contrast is sort of Trump is the seventh grade bully who says things about people that are inherently I'm, funny. I'm supposed to show that on camera. He, he, he's the guy who makes fun of that guy for being fat. And he's the guy who makes fun of that guy for, for being slow. And he's, right, he's that guy. Vivek is the guy who got into Harvard, lets every single person. Okay, so Ben Shapiro, let's let's go ahead, let's draw the line where Shabibo's humor starts and ends. <laughs> that guy being fat, <laughs> and that guy being a loser, is that what he said? <laughs> like, this is Shabibo's, that's his idea of comedy. Person oh. in the room know about it, and then makes fun of you for owning like a 1987 Honda Civic while he has a Benz. <laughs> it, it's not quite the same sense of humor, and one is a lot kind of sharper and more divisive. Oh. In any case... I'll give you an example. Uh, Vivek's joke last night about Nikki Haley or his attack on her is that she was hired by Raytheon or some such. Trump's attack on Joe Biden is that he looks like he walks on toothpicks, which is hysterically <laughs> funny. Here's Donald Trump last night. Oh, my God. I don't think that we laugh at Trump for the same reasons as Shabibo does. But he's a corrupt person, so corrupt that I took the name off Hillary. You know, I don't do two people at one time. I took the crooked Hillary and I made it. I retired the net. It was a good day for her. Uh. I bet she was very happy. <laughs> and I used it for Joe because it's crooked what Joe. But is Joe is on? really... But you don't think he's going to make it to November of... 20 Dude, how can anybody take us seriously anymore? Like Europeans, Canadians, Australians, New Zealanders. I don't get you guys mixed up. I know the difference. How can anybody take us seriously anymore when you have Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump in Tucker's basement chuckling it up, <laughs> making fun of the other candidates? This is where we're going. This is what we're doing with this technological society that we have built. <laughs> God damn it, man. Well, I, I think he's worse uh, mentally than oh. he is physically, and physically he's not exactly... Uh a triathlete, or any kind of an athlete. You look at him, he can't walk. I want to bring this up again, too. Didn't Joe Biden uh, offer to do, like, a, a push-up competition versus Trump? Didn't Joe... Joe Biden, doesn't he ride bikes and stuff? I don't think Donald Trump could ride a bike. He doesn't have, like, the frame for riding bikes, okay? Like, Donald Trump gets on a bike, that's probably the most awkward shit you will ever see in your life. Walk to the helicopter. He, he walks. <laughs> he can't lift his feet out of the grass. You know, it's only two inches at the White House, right? That's not a lot. <laughs> but you watch him, and it looks like he's walking on toothpicks. So, and then you see yeah. him on the beach where he can't lift a chair. You know, those chairs are meant to be light, right? They're like two ounces. Yeah. You lift them up. He can't lift <laughs> the, the chair. What is wrong with this man? Walk to the chair. And I, I don't know what they're doing with the beach. You know, this beach is seeming to play a big role, but. They love pictures of him on the beach. I think he looks terrible on the beach. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, uh, Republicans. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's your candidate. Has 91 felonies, four indictments, and like seven scathing insults about a man's legs and his ability to walk on the beach. This isn't real life. What the fuck is going on? We'll play that next. That's coming. Uh, okay, is that not a fake laugh? That's the fakest laugh I've ever seen, Ben Shibibo. Inimitable. I mean, like, that's... that's it. <laughs> I mean, it is. You can't imitate it, but you can't duplicate it, man. Uh, he, he is an insult comic, right? I mean, that, that's what the guy does for a living. And he insult comic his way to being president of the United States. It's not Whether wrong he can do it there. again is another question. But, I mean, like, no one on the stage can do that, obviously. Like... Is that a quality that you need in a president? Probably no. not. Is it, is it really funny? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really, really funny. Back to Shabibo jerking off to Donald Trump making fun of old presidents. Sure, of, the, <laughs> of this particular interview was just Tucker not asking him anything uh, remotely difficult. The most difficult question that uh, he asked Trump was whether Epstein killed himself, to which Trump said, yep. Oh, my God. 
That was like one of the craziest parts of the entire interview. Yeah, probably. Um, but Tucker, I mean, listen, Tucker has principles, obviously. He speaks about them regularly. This Does was he? a great opportunity for him to ask the former president and leading Republican candidate about some of those principles. He didn't do any of it. Instead, he sort of, I mean, how soft were this? Famine. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Softballs that Tucker was throwing to Donald Trump. Oh, he asked Donald fuck. Trump to rip on Mike Pence by suggesting that Donald Trump had always been very nice to Mike Pence. This question is so bizarre. I, like, I don't even know what to say about this. You've always been nice to Pence. I've never heard you criticize Pence. You've defended him in public many, many times. He's out there attacking you. Hang Mike Pence. Does no one remember that? <laughs> Does no one remember Donald Trump just, just pooping all over Mike Pence's head? <laughs> um, uh, what is that? What? So Mike wants to run for president. You got to understand. What? In my opinion, Mike Pence had the absolute right to send the votes ben? back to the legislatures. Uh, the Democrats and everybody said, you don't have the right. In other words, what I said, is he a human conveyor okay, belt? Like, you mean if he what? finds fraud in what? Pennsylvania, in not, Georgia, oh, in okay, any of these states? I don't care about Trump's answer. <laughs> All right, guys, tell me. Is Ben Shapiro trying to get on the React train? Is that what we have going on right now? Did Ben Shapiro see all the people reacting to his content and go, I could do that? Because <laughs> it seems like that's what he's doing. Somebody help Ben Shapiro out and, and head him towards a good reaction channel. Not mine. I mean a good reaction channel. <laughs> it's Tucker's question that's absurd. You've always been uh, nice to Mike Pence? The actual f What? You oh, What? Whoa. Whoa, is Ben Shapiro trying to become the edgy uncle? Did he just curse? Is he allowed to curse? Does his wife know about this? <laughs> oh! Hey. Okay, for those who have a memory of a goldfish, let me remind on? you of a time when Donald Trump suggested, nay, said outright, that Mike Pence had the unilateral... He said, nay. <laughs> ...capacity to overthrow an American election essentially called him a coward, suggested that he would be forced to do so, and then when Mike Pence called him from the Capitol building on January 6th because the Capitol building was under assault, he basically did nothing. Uh, he was always, you were always very nice to Mike Pence is one of the craziest Orwellian statements I've ever heard. You were always very nice to Mike Pence is an insane statement. That's, that's, a, like, truly, that's a crazy, crazy question. <laughs> so that was the nature of this. Uh, that was the nature of this interview. Which again, softball interview on Twitter. Did it counter program Fox? Not really. Is you know, I, I watched both. I, I doubt very many people actually did. Oh man. Uh, and, and Tucker did ask him one question that was of relevance, but then he didn't press him on it. He said, you know, they stole it last time. Why wouldn't they steal it this time? Now the question you should have asked is, we all know they're going to. You say that you won the election last time, and if you're Tucker, you believe that's true. Apparently. Oh, Ben Shapiro almost had a, uh, what is it, a uh, Dominion moment right there. He almost had a Dominion moment and he caught himself. That was close. <laughs> or you, you at least believe enough of it that you're willing to say it. Um, the question to Trump should be, okay, how are you going to unsteal it? Right? I mean, that, that's like a question that whether you love Trump, whether you hate Trump, like, that's a really... <laughs> he did not just say unsteal it. Holy shit. Oh, how are you going to unsteal it? What the hell is going on with this world? Guys, can we bring it back? I don't know. Are we too close to the edge? Oh, my God. Really good question that Trump has never answered. You say the election was stolen in 2020, but you won. But it was stolen, but you won. So let's say the same thing happens this time. What is your plan to unsteal the election? Can you name how you're going to overcome all of this? Can you lay out like your electoral strategy? I need to make shirts with Ben Shapiro's face on it that says unsteal the election. <laughs> Do you mean just win the election? Would you like to just say the words win the election legitimately? Unsteal the election. Holy shit, dude. How are you going to get out the vote? What kind of budgeting are you dedicating to, say, grassroots organizing? What sort of budget are you dedicating to your legal team? What sort of legal measures are you preparing? Uh, do you have ballot watchers? Do you have vote count? 
Ben Shapiro, like Donald Trump is not thinking of any of these things, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump, if you read the indictments, Donald Trump is not thinking about a lot of things. He's just being spoon-fed bullshit and then just regurgitating to anybody who'll hear it. Counters. Like, how exactly is this going? Like, that would be a useful question. How much of your Trump campaign fund is being dedicated to, say, your legal expenses in Georgia, as opposed to... Oh, I heard a guy say... I heard a guy say some, like, $80 million now. And they think by the time he has to pay all the legal fees, because you know he has to pay legal fees for some of these witnesses, uh, because if he doesn't pay for their legal fees, they'll just uh, they'll flip on him. How guilty do you have to be to be the type of dude that's like, I better pay all of these guys' legal fees or they'll, they'll testify against me? That's how guilty dude is. And they said that he's going to get up to almost $200 million. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Building up the infrastructure necessary to preserve an election that you win if you say that you won 2020. No, Nathan, that is just Ben Shapiro normally. He's always on 1.5 speed. Is that the question Tucker asked? No, he asked him the question of like, why are people so mean to you? <laughs> and immediately after the election, they met rhinos, oh, and, Wall, Jesus Christ. and Democrats, and they approved legislation that takes away the right of the vice president to do it. So I said, ah, <laughs> so you're saying I was right. The vice president did have the right to do it. And they said, yes, he did. So if <laughs> you're saying they stole it from your lap. Okay, they did not say, yes, he did. <laughs> like Donald Trump tells like the strangest stories, dude. He's like, yeah, I went in. I saw they were stealing stuff. I said, hey, are you stealing stuff? They said, no. I said, but I saw you. And they said, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this story? Last time, why wouldn't they oh, do the same no. this time? Oh, they'll try. They're going to be trying, yeah. But, and not, <laughs> not only me. You know, these people are sick. Uh, they will go oh, after them. God. And a lot of people say they won't be able to hold up. I do get credit for holding up quite well, I must tell you. I think it's... Uh, How do you do that? How do you get indicted, you know, every week and stay I cheerful? It's, um, <laughs> I think it, it's a lot easier because I'm... I'm these questions i think i might have been really drunk that night i don't even, did i i wasn't even drinking at that point i don't think i started drinking until the primaries came on do i not remember all these questions oh my god tucker carlson i like i gave him too much credit because i didn't watch tucker and now that i have watched tucker i'm like jesus christ he's a moron or he's at least disingenuous i'm gonna at least go there because he's, he's playing a fool. I'm so high in the polls because it means the people get it. The people see oh, it's man. a fraud. Okay, so that's what the entire interview was. Uh, that's not good. Okay. All right. That's a, that's a rough moment in my life. Me and Ben Shapiro just sighed at the exact same time. I actually, I think me and him connected on a level there. Counter-programming, I'm sorry. That really is not. I mean, it's just a propaganda 45-minute softball for, for Trump. That, that's he's all not that wrong. Is. I mean, just... Realistically speaking, you may love it. Maybe that's your bag, but that's what it is. And that, how are you simultaneously so brave and yet so humble? <laughs> Damn. And that, that, that's what that interview was. I'm, eh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh. oh, dude. It's got to it's gotta suck to get clowned by Ben Shapiro like that. Yeah, why, how is he making sense right now? Oh my God, Tucker and Trump. That might have been a mistake. Redonk, you might have been right. Trump should have went to the debate. I think he. I think he played himself there. I think he might have played himself when Ben Shapiro is making sense and dogging on you like that. Wow. Are you tired of the lies and the twist of the mainstream media talking points? <laughs> I had to play that part. <laughs> oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. Thanks a lot for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like and subscribe. If you'd like to join the Ginger Army and help support me for only $3 a month, you get to support a soulless ginger. You also get access to the Tantrum Trump and Prison Trump emojis. And don't forget to join me every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific for our live stream with yours truly. Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. Appreciate you. Stay safe out there.